just great to be the, be the opening night, that gives you kudos, and also just get sort of the pre-release sort of uh, excitement about the movie before it comes out. I think we're released here on the 11th of April, so it's good that people are already hearing about the film already, you know, because a lot of films, you make a film and they just, a lot of films, too many films are made, so too many films just die, they just disappear, you know, so hopefully the film now won't disappear because of this. It's fantastic. I mean, there's a huge positivity about this festival. You know, it was, you know, kind of the brainchild of Michael Dwyer, who had a, an amazing positivity about the way he wrote about film and engaged with film. And uh, I think it's carried through to the people who are running this festival and who volunteer for it and work hard to make it happen. So it's an absolute privilege. I'm delighted. There are great films, yeah, and it's all, you know, it's all, well, you know, we've got to decide do we want to be good or not and uh, people are putting the work in here, it doesn't happen for nothing and we just keep trying and raise the bar, that's all and I think they're doing it, it's fantastic. It, it was great, it was great. I, I, I did all my scenes with uh, Brendan Gleeson so it's very, I'm very lucky for that because he's so, such a great and generous and, and honest actor. But you know, it's a, it's a film I did because I read a great script and unexpected and very edgy and different script that I haven't read before. And I wanted to be into this uh, group of people and telling this story. Well, the Dublin Film Festival is uh, very important. And we're very lucky to be sponsored by Jimison, obviously. Um, but it gives an opportunity to showcase the best of Irish talent, which is doing. Instead, there are 27 Irish films uh, from uh, 40 countries. There are 140 productions altogether, uh, beginning with Calvary tonight, ending with The Stag. So it's really going to showcase Irish talent, not only to the national audience, but to an international audience as well. So it's quite exciting. <laughs> It's terrific to be back, I have to say. I miss it, and I love it, and I'm really, really pleased to be here. And on a sunny day. It's not, well, I don't, well it is a genre piece insofar as it's about, it isn't, they're vampires, they're all vampires. But, my feeling is that Jim wanted more, more time to see these people. Um, than a moment can offer. He certainly wanted more. There's no reason for him to bring my character into it at all. I mean, uh, I'm going to get this when I'm doing the question and answer and so on and say, well, what are you in the film for? And I and say, no, I don't know, really. Um, <laughs> um, I'm in the film because Jim is fascinated with the business of of of, uh, auth uh, of authorship. I can think of the best piece of advice I've been given, but it's nothing to do with acting. Well, actually, it probably is to do with acting, but indirectly. And that was given to me by Howard Sackler, who wrote The Great White Hope. And he said to me, he said, John, the greatest freedom in life is to know that it is not necessary to be liked. Well, Philip Seymour Hoffman stood, I think, as uh, he and, for my money, Christopher Walken, uh, stand as two monuments to modern film acting. And I think they are, well, I can't say more than that, really. Monuments to modern film acting, and, I, and uh, to lose somebody at the age of 46 is terribly, terribly, it's a real loss, it's a real loss. Mm -hmm.